laughing at myself there. Tonight from Holden's Brewery, established in 1915. It's a strange year to establish, but yeah. Uh, Golden Glow, a 4.4% black country born and brewed. <laughs> I know. You have to do these things, don't you? I never take myself seriously, you know. I just have a sense of humour, you know, for what it is. An 18 karat gold, golden ale with subtle yet fragrant hop aromas, a moorish gentle sweetness and an almost citrus-like pleasant bitter finish. Brewed using the finest English Mar Maris Otter malts and choicest English Fuggles. Golden Glow is a first quenching, refreshing beer. I'm need a drink now. No, of course you can't. That's what it's all about, having a laugh. Yeah? Because you could review a beer and good evening all. And be totally and utterly wrong. I was going to say swear word wrong, but you know, you know what I mean. Do they? Ah, that's interesting. <laughs> Good evening. Welcome back. So I'll just click on the, put the pop out chat on just so I don't miss chat. Because, you know, it's a thing of anxiety that I have to try and greet, you know, at least the majority of people and try not to be an ignorant get. Good evening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, somebody on, on a chat I was on put down Philip the Greeks died, and I'm thought, who the hell was Philip? Phil the Greek? Didn't know. Oh, bless you. There's room for traditional beer shops, and there's room for craft. The thing is, is not to price yourself out the market. Nottingham has some lovely beer shops, but they are expensive. And uh, I won't buy from them because you're looking at, I know how much beer costs. And these places uh, overdo it. So, so lovely golden pour, good carbonation, little white head. Thank you. Um, Is that the one on Flying Horse Walk? Because they are expensive. I walked in, I'm like, shit. And uh, I was like, oh, this is expensive. And I walked out, I did enough. I'm not buying out from here. Way too expensive. I mean, there's, there's, there's a price, and then there's a price I won't pay. And obviously, if you flush with cash, then fair dues, but no. And there's one in Sherwood, Craftworks. And they, they're a bit pricey as well. And uh, I just can't do it to myself. Not much on the nose, but a lovely sweet taste. It was a gusher. <laughs> you can't beat a gusher. Fair play to him if he did. I mean, I've been I've been hearing about Prince Philip today. Yeah, it's a nice, sweet apple. And some of the stuff he did, and you've got fair play to the bloke. You know, in his younger days, he did some good stuff. And obviously, the, this tradition to be upheld of the royal family, isn't there? You know, you can't do a, a Harry and Markle every day of the week. Harry and Meghan, rather. Corrie's cancelled. Oh, there's a blessing. I can't stand the show. I can't stand any of them bloody soaps. Lovely, sweet tasting beer. A bit, little bit of bitterness on the front end. Was he? Yeah. To Philip. One does wonder if uh, Harry and Megan will go to the funeral or be allowed to go to the funeral. And that'll be interesting. They may they may well not have the funeral until they're allowed to. A little bad at least. No. 
I would think they'll wait and do an official funeral. They might do a funeral for him. Private royal funeral. But I bet you they do a proper funeral when? Um, on June the 21st and onwards when they can legally. Unless anything changes, obviously. To be fair, I'd want no fuss at a funeral. Um, I'd want people to, I wouldn't want people to cry. I want them to celebrate the person you are, you know. And uh, on my mum's wake, good evening. They, the, the wake was all about celebrating my mum, not being tearful. This is what I like about this channel and what I like about the beer review community. Because you drink beers from places that, uh, yeah, definitely piss up. Um, you drink beers from places that, um, you know, you, you don't know yourself, but other people do. And it's interesting. It's, it's, it's all knowledge. Oh, there's always something, isn't there? Yeah. I bet, they're, I bet they're holding back till tomorrow now because you know what the media are like. It's a frenzy, isn't it? Especially the tabloids. They're all shit-stirring little bastards. <clears throat> Pardon my French. I hate the, the normal tabloid media. They just they stir it. And then when they get took to court and they get a walloping, then they're all, oh, we didn't mean it. We didn't mean it. Yeah, of course you fucking did. Twats. <clears throat> Pardon my French. But I can't stand them. Which is why I don't look at the news. Good evening. Another little um, bell. There we go. That pink beer can behind me is from Vocation Brewery. And I've got a dirty Vocation glass. But I might do it because Mr. Merseybeard was also asking. So I might do that next, as long as I'm not too long on the review. Um, I might do it next, yeah. Another vocation. I do try and mix it up, though. So um, I might do it tomorrow night. Or oh, what's tomorrow night? It's Saturday, isn't it? I forget, you know, it's usually Thursday when I'm doing these bloody, when I finish working. Easy drinking, bitey, there's a sweetness to it. Obviously the head's gone now, a little bit of carbonation still. Yeah, it's a nice enough beer. 4.4%, not overly taxing. Didn't want to go too strong too quick. Uh, what was the last beer? 5.4. Yeah. yeah, not bad at all. I want to start home brewing soon, but the weather's crap. We're getting frost again this weekend. Good evening. And good evening again. So the weekend's here. Thank the Lord. And for those who don't work the weekend, because I know a lot of people work. I mean, I've worked at Sainsbury's Friday and Saturdays. You know, it's it's not great. Um, you know, the weekend's here. Enjoy the weekend. No, no, I don't keep my beer warm. No, I drink it as it comes, so... If it's cold, it's cold. If it's warm, it's warm. Unless I go up the house and, you know, and take it up the house and let it get, let the air get to it. So, traditional drinking beer. Holden's from the West Country. Paul Aina, that's a nice beer, that is. Try not to make the beer. Although I'm, I'm expecting the wife. Oh, about the homebrew beer. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I need to get one of them belts. Homebrew belts. Yeah. And um, 
probably do some yeah it's from the black country this beer is yeah west midlands isn't it black country where saddlers were based they were in stouchbury doom bar doom bar in the pub comes from uh sharps themselves doom bar in a, in a bottle comes from molson cause not the same no way near the same Baffins. Ah. Hugh. Hugh the beer kid. He was on about Baffins earlier today. Funnily enough. Just out of the curiosity. Near Dudley. Near Dudley. No, crap at pronunciations. Sharps Atlantic. I don't think so. I think because Doom Bar... Uh, is very much mass produced they contract it to molson cause yeah it's it's something i want to do when i do bath ems i'm learning you know i'm from nottingham you know we don't talk properly oh i've not had it i never knew Bateman's Mocha Stout. I love Bateman's. It's one of them. It's a bit of a Marmite beer. I've had Bateman's where it was fantastic. And then I've drank it once or twice. Where it was absolutely, wasn't anywhere near the same. And the quality wasn't as good. And I like Bateman's. Their Mocha is a good beer. Seems a little bit laggy tonight. Unless it's just my eyes. We're looking for a hot tub. We are. I've got the money, spare money for one, but I uh, can't get one. I'm not paying silly prices. No, I've not tried a brew dog own brew kit. I've heard they're really expensive. Yeah. I don't want to be paying for a kit that's only fractionally cheaper than just going by the bottles. Otherwise, what's the point? Have you mourned? Bless you. Yeah, I thought it was a little bit lucky. Yeah, just on a tad. A tad. Young's double chocolate, yeah. Saltaire's triple chocolate, now there's a, a stout. If you ever see it, get it. Don't bother with the cherry version because it's shit. But the, the Saltaire's triple chocolate, bloody lovely. Blackheath stout. <laughs> Mangrove jackets, well. I'm not the expert here. Goathead is definitely more of an expert than I am. But yeah, I've brewed it. If you brew it, for God's sake, don't chuck the hops directly into the brew. Put a pair of tights, chuck it into the tights. No, no, it's not played up since the other day. I did have somebody say to me, someone's hacked my phone, but I don't think so. Uh, the A71 is known for issues, apparently. I didn't know until it played up. Not used tights, no. Unless you wash them first, you don't want you don't want you don't want smelly gusset in your beard, do you? Or a bit of cum. Okay, now. <clears throat> you got young stout in the nightclub. Ooh, that'd be interesting. Queen's already on Tinder. I've seen some of the pictures. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I did say I've got a sense of humour, you know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm tasting an IPA tonight that I brewed from Mangrove Jacks. Oh, yeah. I'm getting um, grapefruit. I'm getting, yeah. What's this? Yes. Cum and uh, fucking gushing juice. Yeah, 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 yeah. You wouldn't want that, would you? <laughs> yeah. I did say I have a sense of you. I'm not even drunk as well, which is work, which is bad. When I'm drunk, I'm even worse. Although never offensive. <laughs> no, no, you wouldn't, unless it was your own, obviously. But even so, no. <laughs> oh dear. Be a fucker if it was the milkman's 
But anyway, uh, <clears throat> yeah. But not that you see milkman these days or the window cleaner. Good evening. Yeah. It's funny, isn't it? The tangents we flow in this chat. Yeah. Very different to other beer chats that I've I've been on and I've seen. You know. <laughs> And uh, I see a lot of beer chats, and uh, not naming names or not going into any detail, but they're very diff. They're not. They're not like this, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, I will be later. Now seven o'clock. Now like fifteen minutes. Let me get off this beer. I bet he did. Uh, I'm your milkman. Drop me. Drop me. Do you want to you come on my round? Yeah. Yeah. Jobs are good and. <laughs> So, <laughs> golden pour, um, on the nose, I've just got a different sense of humour, I know, I don't want the wife ringing up at quarter, hey be careful Chris, you might be the next victim, <laughs> he's looking for victims for his next parody. And he's pretty good at these parodies, to be fair. Although when I seen the pair of bollocks come up on Bullman's, I was like, whoa, what's that? You know, fucking hell. <clears throat> yeah, it's good to be at it. You know, if you can't take the piss out yourself, then there's something wrong. I mean, I'd, lo I'd love to do a parody of a couple of beer reviewers, but I think they take it the wrong way. And uh, I don't want to go down that route. You know, you don't want to create enemies. <laughs> not going down that, not going down that comment. <clears throat> yeah. I think that might be an easy one, an easy parody, too easy. I don't think Simon would not host it on his channel. He may do. It depends on what, what sense of humour he's got. No, tonight she's actually, she's she's done cooking for the weekend. She's all caked up now. She's done. Oh God, yeah, yeah. There's some obvious characters about a whiskey kind of girl. Oh, what whiskeys, by the way? Uh, Gemma, just out of curiosity. Because whiskey's, it's an acquired taste. No, I'm not sure he would. You know. Yeah, yeah, probably, yeah. Bourbons, ah. Honey bourbon, you know, um, JD honey bourbon. Or the cherry bourbon. Oh, bless you. So, yeah. Golden pour. I need to knock this off so I can get on the next one. Golden pour. Sweet tasting. There's a hint of citrus there, but it's just a nice traditional beer, in my opinion. Four point four percent on the alcohol content. Easy going, traditional golden beer. Um, for me, yes, beer. Out of five, oh, it was okay. I, um, I'd give it about a four point two. Yeah, fucking hell, four point two out of five. You, you lot are far too close with this. <laughs> that comment's not been allowed yet. It'll come up in a minute. Yeah, a good four point two for me. So, need to kill this review off and come back with another review. Thank you all for watching. And for those watching in the background, if you if you go onto the Raggy YouTube or you just keep refreshing the lives, you'll see that I'm back in two minutes. I'll not be long. Two minutes time. And thank you all for watching, commenting, liking and subscribing. You know, it's a good community. And community is what it's all about. And come in, come in and chat. We're all nice people. Trust me. Cheers.
And obviously the chat carries on after I've finished, funnily enough.